Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the types of startups and furthermore this video will be divided into the definition of what is a startup, of course the types of startups and how do I choose startup ideas and mainly will be based on the framework that Steve Lang gave and a startup is a temporary organization designed to search for a repeatable and scalable business model while the small business runs according to the fixed business model. Mainly, and it has been said that startups are that oriented to grow easily and faster, and they are also supported by big investors, but also there has been different startup types that have been defined as well by Steve Blank. And the first that I will start to talk about is the big business startups and mainly these are the businesses or the side businesses that big corporations create in order to keep growing in other probably different segments or services that they could actually do. Any new business that it's developed might be as well in the same industry or related to the industry or a set aside from the industry that it's already working the big corporation. One example, the bank, then it's in Spanish BBVA and they serve as any other banking, have their banking systems and banking services, but as well, they created this new set aside business that it's open pay, open pay. It's similar to any other payment gateway that it can help any other online business to do that business, the money transactions that can be done via online. So they have created this new venture with open pay. So this is another example of what it can be a big business startup since it's supported by the already set up corporation or organization. Another example are the social entrepreneurship startups. These are oriented to fulfill an, an social objective and has the aim to improve different types of aims for the environment, for the social aspects. And one example here can be Ecosia. If you don't know what's Ecosia, it's a search engine such as Google, Bing, or Yahoo. But in this case, for the search that are done via this search engine, they are planting trees, so the more people are searching using this search engine, then also it will have the impact that as more revenue they get, they will also keep working on the planting of the trees. So that they have already a set goal. And as the business itself keeps, keeps growing as well to keep operating and generating the income for the operational expenses, they also have this not kind of a profit seeking organization, but more in a yes profit, but for creating these plans of projects of planting trees. Another type of startups are the viable startups that they are mainly created to, of course, first generate the users, the income for the business. And as the project has grown, then it becomes attractive for bigger tech companies. And one of the most common example, it can be talking about Instagram, that how they started just as a photo app. And as it grew, it kept the attention of Facebook and eventually it was bought by Facebook. As well, there are plenty of other examples that they can, that the project itself, it might already have started just for the first focus or for the objective that in this case in Instagram was for the photo sharing app. But eventually with time and with the growth that it had, it became viable. And in this case, Facebook was the one who bought Instagram or as well in the case of YouTube, could be another example that Google eventually bought YouTube. The scalable startups here, especially with the technological startups or all the new businesses, since for the same nature of being on cloud platforms or in hosting services and the databases that they are building, there are different language coding languages that are have set up 
before that uh, as the number of users that are growing in the app, they eventually will be also scalable. And this has been some one of the main points for investors and angel investors and for the financing sector that since they have like a growth potential that it could be even worldwide, they are easy to set up as scalable. And one example can be even we can talk about TikTok, how that easy scaled up even worldwide to be now one of the main or most used apps for video short video sharing that even had it was also on the overpassing Google as one of the most domain search online. And small and medium sized enterprise startups, we can talk about and here it make kind of came the confusion of like, okay, it's a small business, also a startup. And basically, well, what it can also be defined as a startup is like when the business is already starting. But in this case, they are more on that traditional way. So it can be even a small retail store, a restaurant, or different types of, of businesses that are more common. That's why they're mainly set off as the traditional. But as well, as they keep growing and they start leaving this part of the, being the startup in the past because they might have already the second franchise or three, four, five stores, they go to another region. But in comparison to a technological startup that we already have talked before, this case, they have a more slower growth. Yes, of course, as a, probably as a business itself might have a normal and conventional growth, but they don't have this potential as any technological startup to be growing fast, probably faster, like as in one year, two years, we have seen plenty of new apps or web platforms that, that they have grown immensely. And with small and medium sized enterprises, they, they might keep growth, but in a slower pace. And also another one of the startups that it's mainly described are the lifestyle startups that these are mainly focused for those freelancers or for those professionals that are want to focus their new venture, their new business on what are one of their main interests. But in this case, these lifestyle startups, they could also do this combination of having a uh, personal desire with, with a tech development that they can mix both things like having, a, for example, a yoga class. And of course, the advantage of having an online course that it can also be multiplied and scaled easily and it can combine this lifestyle of the person that is starting the business. But how do I choose a startup or how do I choose the ideas? And basically, this will be a matter of personal thinking, meditating. What is the best decision of a type of business that I should go for? That is why the, to rely on the self-analysis and to focus on what are the personal interests and goals to set for the future. In, and this is the question that the entrepreneurs might ask for themselves and for where they will want to head in the future. Another aspect that it can help an entrepreneur or that person who still doesn't think that it's an entrepreneur, but it's humbling on taking that decision of if should I start a business, should I not, should I quit a job or should I have the mix of having a job and also starting a business. And this is why it's important to create this entrepreneurial culture to surround with another entrepreneurs who are already have those questions and they already decided to do that step forward so that their business keeps growing with time but also and it's also important and it's very common also it's getting more popular to to do and listen the failure stories because also through failure and this try and try and trial and error it's probably what most entrepreneurs would recommend because probably at first you had one idea and you were totally 100% sure about it, but it might have not had the results that they were expected. So that's the part 
and the importance of the reliance of the entrepreneur to keep going, to keep testing, trying and seeing and finding out what have worked and what has not worked. And probably for idea of a product or service, the market was not ready or was not actually needing type, that type of solution that the entrepreneur or this new entrepreneur has a possibility to keep innovating until he finds what might be in in his personal interest, in the market interest, and that the motivation to keep going and keep him growing, improving the project is also part of the entrepreneur. So there is no actually right or wrong answer until the person itself and that entrepreneur steps up and in work so that he or she can fulfill his project. So if you have some more questions, some comments, please write down. You can visit my website at barrasacarlos.com if you want some more information. I will leave the link down below. Thanks for watching.